Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Ram and Toy just put out a brief but huge teaser reveal on their YouTube live stream from yesterday morning and it was a vision of things to come. And we'll be discussing this image in detail in the video. So grab some snacks and sodas, kick back on the sofa and let's get into it. Over the last three years, Ram and Toy have revisited multiple 80s toy and cartoon properties with their own modern-day homage reimaginings, such as the 80s Commanders and Centurions, Makina and Mask, and the soon-to-come Marshall, which gives us a new updated version of Brave Star. And let's not forget that they also teamed up with Super 7 for their own unique Silverhawks action figures. But now, we have a hint of another property that fans have for years been requesting for a comeback. And it's the fantasy action franchise, Visionaries. Knights of the Magical Light. Although not as massive as some of the other 80s pop culture properties, such as Transformers or G.I. Joe, Hasbro's Visionaries still enjoyed a sizable cult following. One that lasts until today. It had one series of very memorable toys, it had a cartoon series that lasted a single season. The cartoon is highly recommended. And if you watched it today as an adult, you may be surprised to find that many episodes were surprisingly matured for what was seemingly a kid's animated show aimed at selling toys. Marvel also had a very well-produced comic book tie-in series that sadly lasted only six issues. And it was in fact abruptly cancelled in the middle of a four-part story arc with no proper conclusion to the saga. Back in the day, companies could just put out a small announcement that something was terminated without any warning and there was no social media where anyone could follow up about it or rant about it or just say anything about it, okay? But the main draw of the visionaries were definitely the action figures of the Spectral Knights and Darkling Lords that came with these cool chest holograms depicting their unique animal powers. The figures also came with giant staff weapons that also featured larger holograms, as well as an assortment of combat vehicles that featured deluxe-sized holograms with terrifying lenticular images that would hold us in a grip of wonder and amazement as kids. Man, this stuff is still stunning to look at today. Now, Raman Toy have previously hinted at the possibility of going into the 6-inch scale for visionaries, and if so, this will be the very first time that the toys are presented in this scale. And based on this teaser visual that they have shared, this is exactly what we could be looking at. Someone had asked a question during their live stream yesterday as to whether a line of visionaries action figures would be possible. And this very brief image was shared as a teaser reply. What we can see here is the armor of a visionary's knight, possibly a spectral knight, with a hint of his lower chin and helmet, and the top section of his center chest armor piece where the holograms are reflected from. Very exciting stuff, but who are we looking at here? Well, if they are starting out with an introductory character for this fresh take on a classic property, they have to break out the big guns. So this is definitely the heroic leader, Leoric. It may also be the evil Darkling Lord, Darkstorm, right? Or maybe the series will start out with a pair of the leaders of both teams. But either way, I don't think that it would start without Leoric being included. Now, I wanted to break out my own Leoric action figure for this review, but I could not extract it just yet from storage. So I'll save that for when we finally get some more updated images of Raman's figure. Meantime, I do have some stock images here that I've used previously. And as you can see, the classic Hasbro Leoric figure from the 80s was definitely something that was crafted with a lot of love and care. Leoric as a character looks like he could be a young Magnum PI. The figure itself came on a fully posable body that was similar in size and style to Hasbro's G.I. Joe. And aside from his chest hologram of a lion, he also came with a removable helmet, a whip, and a staff weapon with a hologram. Okay, just to backtrack a bit, this isn't the first time that Leoric or the Visionaries have made a modern day comeback. But it seems that Hasbro was only testing out the waters previously by putting out exclusives only and nothing commercial for retail shelves. 
Now there was the STCC 2017 IDW Comics Revolution box set. This one was a representation of the Hasbro shared universe that IDW Comics was developing back then, where the Hasbro toy property universes of Transformers, G.I. Joe, Micronauts, Mask, Action Man, and even the Visionaries were now crossing over. This whole concept was a pretty big deal back then, but eventually fizzled out into a big fat nothing. But this STCC exclusive box set was pretty cool and did contain a modern day updated Leoric figure. But the only problem was, it wasn't really that impressive looking and it actually sort of sucked, okay? The figure looked skinny, nowhere near the quality of the original and worst of all, it didn't have the holograms. Prior to that, there was also another STCC exclusive in 2016 and this was in the form of a Mighty Mug. Okay, this was back when Mighty Mugs were still huge and they weren't feeling the heat from Funko Pops. In all honesty, this Lyric Mug is pretty awesome. Okay, he has the chest hologram and they even went all out to include shiny reflective foil effects on the packaging box too. This could have been a sign of things to come, but unfortunately, it just went nowhere as well. The Visionaries even made a comeback in comic books with the Transformers vs Visionaries crossover that took place in 2018. Now this should have been a big deal, but hardly anyone heard anything about it. So there was no chance of this being the start of something new for the franchise. And plus, the entire team was given various design and concept changes that made them unrecognizable to the hardcore fans. Also, Leoric was now race swapped to be a black warrior with giant dreadlocks. Now this would have been a great idea for an all new visionaries knight, but not by erasing the existence of a main character that fans have already associated as a key ingredient to the franchise. Anyway, none of these versions were ever heard from again. The visionaries franchise has been silent all this time until this hint of a new line from Raman Toy. Of course, the question on everyone's minds is whether or not the hologram effects will be included or will they just be a flat sticker instead? No, we don't want those flat stickers, we want the holograms. But this will also be an opportunity to improve on what came before. The holograms on the classic figures were left exposed and this made them very easily scratched and damaged during play. And this would also affect the smooth reflection of the lenticular image as you will see on many of the loose visionaries figures that are available today. Now I have no doubt that Raman's version will incorporate many new high quality updates but I am personally hoping that if holograms are included, these will come displayed within a casing of some sort so that the hologram which is the product's main gimmick is sealed and protected. Guys, I was personally shocked a couple of years ago when I was doing research on the visionaries toy line and I realized that the general consensus out there was that this was a failed, unsuccessful toy line. So what went wrong? Okay, the toys were fantastic. The concept was amazing. But I think that at that time, there was a general lack of interest, perhaps in the sword and sorcery genre, in fantasy medieval adventure stories, because we could see that happening also in the late 80s with Masters of the Universe and Dungeons and Dragons. The sales of all those toy lines were just declining. And when Visionaries came out, it was trying to tap into some of that market, I suppose. But, you know, it just never took off, all right? But to anybody who was exposed to the product, all right, we were left amazed, okay? And I think that the product has only gained in its cult following and obsession over the decades. One of the greatest regrets among Visionaries fans and collectors out there is the unproduced Series 2 wave of figures and playsets, including this super massive, ultra exquisite Holodrome Iron Mountain playset. This thing would have contained special effects and gimmicks the likes of which nobody had seen at the time, including a super gigantic, ghostly holographic image of Merklin, the wizard, right? You know, this thing would have just been the centerpiece of any toy collection, but it was cancelled, okay? It was cancelled. I suppose the budget to put something like this together was just too enormous. Sales were on the decline. There was no way they could get all this stuff into production. But today, in this current generation, I think that, you know, there is an army of Visionaries fans that are assembling out there. 
Many of them have never owned a Visionaries action figure and would dearly love to. And the fact is, you know, in the 80s, I believe that most of these action figures were produced in smaller quantities. They were not really that easy to find. This has also led to the fact that it's very difficult to find Visionaries action figures that are complete in good condition on the secondary market. You usually see these things going for freaking enormous prices. Guys, let me know in the comment section how you feel about the return of Visionaries action figures and toys. Okay, let me know what you feel about this teaser hint from Ramon Toy. What are your expectations for this toy line? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know and I'll catch you guys again real soon. Take care out there.